Oh, so what you are going to do for this problem set is you're going to make your first repo. In other words, you're going to make your first element of your portfolio. You're building an online portfolio. So check it out. First thing you're going to do is, where is it? Under problem sets, under problem set seven, okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to fill out your GitHub profile. Let me embarrass Miriam a little further. Let's take a look at Miriam's profile, okay? You're going to create a profile. You're going to add a profile picture, put a name, and add any other info. Now, folks, if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to use a picture of your face. That's fine. Just change the default photo. Also, remember, folks, this is online. So if you do not feel comfortable using your full name, just use your first name. But folks, this is kind of like a LinkedIn profile. The more you can, you're, you're comfortable letting people know about your work and who you are, the better uh, opportunities for networking there is. The first thing you're going to do, fill out this profile. All right? Questions? All right, next. I'm going to do this very quickly. Okay, everything is contained in a zip file. All right, so let me download that. Save. All right. Let me go over here, download it. All right. Okay, this is another RStudio project, right? We've seen this before. It's all self contained. Guess what, folks? We're going to make a repo based on this RStudio project. Let me open that. Okay. Now check it out, folks. This is an R markdown file, but it doesn't create a PDF. It doesn't create an HTML file. What is it going to create? If you knit this, it's going to create a markdown file. It's going to create this file, readme.md, folks. That's the cover page. So the nice thing is you can work it in R Markdown, knit it, and you'll get the cover page come out like that. Now, you're going to change this stuff. I want you all to change these plots because look at this stuff. This is not very clean. You're going to put in anything you want. You're practicing, folks. You're going to change up the code, maybe put some ggplot, maybe your favorite plot, whatever it is, you're going to put it all there, all right? But now, check this out. Help, Markdown Quick Reference, these are all the tools you can use to make your repo cover page look nice. Folks, this is marketing. If your cover page is hideous, people will be like, their eyes will roll over and they won't look at your work. It's important to have a clean presentation. Any questions? All right, I know I'm going quickly, but that's why I'm recording this. Now, next up, you're going to go, let me go to my repo, um, I'm going to go to my profile page. What we're going to do now is you're going to create a repo that is remote. You're going to take your local version of the repo and push it online using the drag and drop interface. So again, this is all going to be recorded. Hey, that's me. Repositories. You're going to create a new repository. We're going to call it PS07 Learning GitHub. Add a README file. Create repository. After you've done that, it just creates a blank repository with nothing in it. Last step. We're not going to do it the complicated way. We're going to do it the easy way. Add file. Upload files. What are we going to do? We're going to add the contents of the PS07 RStudio project. Drag and drop it there. All right. We have to give the commit a name. Whenever we make a change, we have to name it. So we'll call this adding new readme. Commit changes. Takes a second. Look at that. You can put whatever you want on that, all right? You got a favorite plot, you want to show grandma, put it on that repo, all right? Any questions? All right, folks, again, there's so much to GitHub, but you're at least getting a taste in this class. Stop recording. <laughs>